So I did it. I managed to squeeze one of these uh, HS101 oscilloscopes with a 3.5 millimeter socket into this small plastic project box. They're quite common, these project boxes. I was able to find a bag of 10 for less than $3 on eBay. You'll also find on the HS101 um, oscilloscope site at martinlauren.com that there is already there a build uh, described and illustrated um, that includes this exact uh, project box. The difference being that the cable is hardwired uh, to the uh, circuit board. That simplifies the build considerably. But I think that the input cable options that the uh, 3.5 millimeter socket affords is worth the extra effort in the build. Uh, so I'll talk about these. Well, I start with um, these cables I got for about 99 cents. They're a meter and a half, um, 3.5 millimeter uh, male plugs on each end. Uh, they are mono cables, not the stereo kind. I cut them in half. I end up with two cables. Then I splice a couple of short lengths of 24 gauge uh, silicone wire, a little bit of heat shrink. And the uh, most common uh, solution here is to use the small hook style probes on the end. The entire cable maybe costs 75 cents a piece. I mentioned that I intend to uh, make a few of these HS101 in that plastic case as personalized gifts. So I made four of these cables. So the cables are um, easy and in inexpensive to make and you can end up with a variety of styles. Instead of putting the hook style connectors on, you can have banana plugs or alligator clips. So another thing that this 3.5 millimeter socket allows is to put this style of adapter. I found that on eBay. It's a 3.5 millimeter 2B and C. Um, there's a bloke in uh, the UK that sells these things for $3.40. So I ordered a couple of those. So I like how versatile this particular uh, version of the HS101 is. So through the information I provide in this video and the information that's contained in gadgets number 37 and the three high-res images that you can download uh, with the link that's in the description, uh, you should have all that you need to build this. Where this particular build diverges from the others uh, considerably is that the 3.5 millimeter socket sits where uh, the uh, resistors and diodes normally sit. So uh, my solution to that was to move those uh, diodes and resistors further south, more towards the center of the board. There's a kind of a vacant area there that I uh, was able to utilize. That resulted in using a 7 by 13 matrix uh, for the PCB board as opposed to the 7 by 6 matrix. Um, and from then on, just follow the circuitry as outlined in those high-res uh, images. And for those of you that are fairly new to this type of work, there are some fairly long solder traces on this particular build. Um, here's a tip. Utilize the leads, they're extra long from the resistors and or diodes, to your advantage and lay them across and use them to do your bridging. And finally, you'll have to do the same treatment on the USB on the blue pill where you cut out the uh, ground tab and uh, a piece of the uh, board to allow the USB to protrude through the plastic case. Once uh, completed, you can uh, put the uh, assembly in the case. You start by being able to shove the uh, USB through the hole. That allows you to get the socket in. Once the board is pushed back towards the socket, then a little bit of hot glue in here will prevent the board from moving back and forth as you uh, plug the cable in. And there's your project. So I'd like to conclude here with a little bit more about the uh, specs and the features and the limitations of the HS101 oscilloscope. 
If you go to the uh, HS101 website, you'll find these specs. I've been focusing on the 0 to 20 volt variant. Uh, that's not plus or minus 20 volt. So uh, it won't handle any uh, negative uh, values. There is a plus or minus 5 volt version of this on that website and enough information for you to build one if that's uh, what you would like. You might notice on those specs that uh, it mentions that the HS101 has a 10 kilo ohm impedance. Um, the standard is usually at 1 mega ohm impedance. So it means that um, you can't use these attenuators, the 20 to 1 or the 4 to 1 that is uh, built here on the uh, gadgets playlist because it doesn't match up with the uh, impedance. So I concentrate on the 0 to 20 volt variant of HS101 uh, because that's a sweet spot for automotive work. Um, it will handle all the 5 volt reference sensors just fine. And it will also be able to take uh, these uh, current clamps. The way the uh, HS101 project works is that the circuitry and the firmware is available on the site. And then it's up to the individuals to fit them in whatever uh, casing they uh, choose and to put their own stamp on it, if you will. And uh, globally, people are doing this. Uh, it's very interesting, and I'm pleased uh, to share it with you. So uh, you guys take care.